this is a Richard back at you. We've got our 4L60 training built uh, and back in the, the Caprice. So, but I want to kind of show you how we hook up our uh, DTEC cable, uh, so passenger cable, uh, to work. It works properly and pulls the right length and all that type of stuff. So, what you buy, what we buy is a hit. Uh, let me grab the, the paperwork because I have it here ready. Uh, yeah, I wasn't throwing the, the paper up. You can kind of look at it. It's a little Mr. Gasket throttle cable bracket kit. You can buy one of those and it works really good. So, but what we got here, it used to look like this. Now this one here doesn't have the adjustable bolt like this here does to keep it from pulling back around from the force of the cable when you put the gas on. Uh, but if you look here, this used to be welded on here and we already cut it off. It was welded on here like this to look like this. Yes, sir. But we don't, we're not gonna put it there. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna put it about right here. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna TIG weld this bracket that comes with it in the package. It's got two screws that go in here, but when you put the cable in, the head of the screw right here hits the cable right here and there's, it will not adjust. So when you slide this on there, the, the screws underneath yes, touch sir. this right here. So we're not gonna put any screws in there. So what we did is, and since we're gonna modify this bracket, what we're gonna, it's gonna look like this when we get done with it. We're gonna put it like that. We're gonna take this and we're gonna TIG weld it right here, right on the end of it, just like that. And then we're gonna come in here. Now, I could have put this like this, but when I do, it interferes mounting my uh, gas pedal bracket back on here. See, gotcha. I can't mount it back on or get my screws back in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over like this. This is gonna be TIG welded on here like that. And then I'm gonna come in here and I've already set my adjustment basically. Let me get this out of the way a little bit here. Now, when you have this on there, I pull the cable adjuster all the way to the end right here. And then I pull this cable back and then I get my piece adjusted just like this. I can kind of get my angle and everything where I'm gonna be with this on here. And where we're gonna be putting this back is, back is about a quarter of an inch past this just like that. We're gonna TIG weld that back on there. And now your bracket's gonna look just like this. So let us get this welded back up really quick. Uh, Y'all stay tuned, we'll be back shortly. Okay, we got our bracket. Uh, Vice grip back together where it's going to be, and then Trent's going to tack it really quick and weld it up. I actually take it back. Might shake a little bit, so let's take. Well, watch this. Steady hands. The turbo looks good though. Let me see if this will let me get in here and kind of see. Some of these cameras will really let you get in here and look at some stuff. I've seen, uh, actually been able to look into the well, but this one's not gonna do it. I was hoping it would. It won't, blinding it? It won't blind it. It's not really blinding it bad, but still, uh, I had a phone here a while back. You could actually zoom into the well. It was really cool. Oh, of course. I know that looked like a lot of shaking. I'm only probably really, really shaking because I'm videoing. But, let me get this thing here. It doesn't look terrible. For some yep. shaking. That's pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. So we'll come back and hit the other side of that bracket real quick. Yep. See it looks over here. Probably pretty warm. Hopefully it won't blind you. I'll just kind of zoom back out a little bit.
what we're doing is that we're actually moving the bracket forward and we're going to be moving it down that way the cable is in direct line of the pull of the lever on the carburetor it's not above it it's not below it it's in direct line that way uh, no more than you move that gas pedal it pulls on that cable if you put it below it or above it it doesn't have that same effect so you always want to make sure it's a direct pull let's do there That, and we'll just take it down the end. Hey, I must be getting used to the camera because I'm getting better with my shaking. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of time that goes into swapping a tranny from a three-speed to an overdrive. Luckily, this thing had a nine-inch uh, tail housing on the 350. Uh, we didn't have to do any dry shaft work. Uh, the sh it's an old enough style car. The shifter linkage went right back into the same bracketry. So it turned out pretty good. There we go. So there we go. So we'll get mocked up for the next bracket, and uh, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, we got our other bracket tacked on. It's gonna go ahead and finish going down it real quick. Not perfect, but she will do. Looks like it'll stay. Better than a mid welder, I tell you that. Yeah. Sweet. You gonna grab the other side too? Yep, I sure am. Or underneath, not the. Yeah. Yep. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Probably a couple tacks. I won't go all the way across it. Double insurance. Nothing wrong with that. Now, you don't want this bracket to move. Once you get it adjusted, you don't want it to bend, anything like that. And this is one of the better brackets because uh, you push so hard on the carburetor, on the gas pedal, excuse me, that uh, it's easy to pull the bracket all the way up around. I'm telling you. We got Annie thing. over there. Oh, has some little red eyes looking at me. Oh, the camera. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. Good nice. Sweet. So, well, let me get this bracket cooled down and inspect it really quick, and we'll get it on, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like on the car. Trent, how to adjust it. Trent got our bracket all welded up, so we can get it put on our 4L60 uh, install here on our little uh, 73, I believe, uh, Caprice. Yes, sir. So, this is what the bracket look like before in our other video to a similar now we've welded this piece on here so we didn't have to use screws because it would rub on the bottom and then we still have our bracket uh, that the gas pedal uh, br bracket mounts to and this one here I like because it has adjustable angle of the bracket screw so that's pretty nice too so what we do is we're going to stick this on here really quick And we notice that we have our angle, it looks pretty good. So we got this all tightened up right here. We'll stick our nut on right here on the stud, tighten it down. Now, even though you, you get all this welded up, you might have to bend it to your, your liking, just perfect, uh, to where the alignment is just 100% a dead pull. So we're gonna stick our detent cable through here, clip it in, and then we're gonna clip it onto our attachment anchor right here that we just put on the carburetor. Now you put it on, 
it clips on. Now we have a dead pull right here. Look at that. Really nice. Now we have this all the way out already. That way we have full adjustment back. And you notice the cable sticking out. So right now, I'm gonna pull it to the floor and I'm gonna push on it. We've got just a little bit that we can pull on this steel. So, now even though we welded it, you gotta get your screwdriver still in there and try to push on that little tab, push it down. Can you go through the bolt holes? Or is it too wide? No, I think I can. It's, there it goes, okay. I pushed it down and then I pushed this in back in here just a little bit. And now I'm gonna pull on it again make sure it locks so that's one main thing okay it locked right there okay now we're gonna pull on it all the way and now it's nice and tight there's no play in it at all now we're gonna leave it right there and that's where we're gonna go drive the vehicle at and see how it works and we're gonna get our gas cable cable hooked back up here Dang, Dad, that looks really good. Got our new carburetor gasket that was busted here. Put it on there. It's a lot thicker. Guys, gotta like it a little better. Nice. So. You just can't put this stuff on all the time. So, I mean, you gotta be able to cut, weld, fabricate some things. Make it all the time. I mean, it's. You gotta make it work. Yeah. It just doesn't work all the time. Shabby. Nope, looks really good. Gonna turn out to be really nice. But we haven't found a bracket yet that you physically can bolt on and just work. So we've always had to remake these and weld them up like this every time we do one. That way we can get the pull on the cable right. Stuff like that. So I do have this big carburetor spring on there. And we are going to put this all the way back as far as we can, all the way up against the back of the cable. That way the, the physical housing is pulling on this bracket. That way when he puts it on the floor, we know he's it's going all the way on the floor. Okay, nice and tight. Nice and tight. Now look at this, it's got a straight pull. Take this off so it makes it a little easier to put it on the floor. Put it all the way back, just like that. Now that's where we're gonna go drive this vehicle at first. If it needs any more tightening, you can still tighten it up just a little bit more and uh, you should be fine. So that's how we do it here. Uh, we still have to hook up the lock up uh, key on power to the tranny right there. And then we're going to go drive it and see how the training works and we'll get it in here and uh, do a video on uh, completely overhauling the rear end. So y'all stay tuned. Have a good one.